Imagine's historical simulations provide access to years of historical data that allow you to analyze potential risk in a portfolio book or ledger in terms of archived equity, currency, volatility, interest rate, and other risks. Using the Imagine Financial Platform, you can now run a historical simulation through an Imagine app, extract specific details for each holding and simulation, aggregate value at risk according to specific holding attributes, and much more. By identifying historical simulation data with specific holding tags, the Imagine Financial Platform simplifies access to and aggregation of historical data. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to execute a historical simulation on a book for the purpose of aggregating value at risk by a particular holding attribute, in addition to displaying individual holding risk detail. We'll also observe the book's P&L distribution along with the maximum loss per portfolio which are simple examples of the kinds of data you can extract and calculate from historical simulation output. Finally, we'll export these calculations to Excel, where you can continue to manipulate and aggregate data. Note that this video demonstrates just a few possibilities of the countless options for historical data manipulation afforded by the Imagine Financial Platform. An example is provided for the book, portfolio, and holding levels of hierarchy. Let's first take a quick look at Imagine's standard historical simulation tool. Note that both a standard simulation and a simulation performed via IFP require a saved setup file. In this example, our setup file includes 20 simulations, one period, and one day per period. This will generate PNL data from the past 20 days of historical data for the purposes of calculating a historical VAR. Note that you will want to set your number of simulations equal to the desired historical time frame. For example, a two-year historical VAR would have approximately 500 simulations to represent two business years of 252 days each. For the purposes of this demo, we'll keep the number of simulations small. In addition, note that the data detail level must be set to holding, not portfolio, in order to see holding level detail. The standard simulation output is displayed like this, with one initial row for the simulation summary. Drill down into period level detail and then position level detail by right-clicking on relevant rows. All of this data is extremely useful for analyzing risk, but is not easily accessible when displayed on varying drill-down levels. With the Imagine Financial Platform, we can manipulate which data is displayed in which tables thereby making the data more accessible and easy to digest. Now let's test a demo app that affiliates historical simulation output data with holdings and can therefore aggregate risk according to holding attributes. We'll first go through the app code briefly and evaluate its various functions. The Monty Run function simply runs the historical simulation using the setup file and book you've specified in your inputs, then saves the output file. The create object function combines the book and saved output file by iterating through each holding filtered into the book's portfolios and gathers holding data into an object. Resulting from this data, the app can calculate the P&L and maximum loss for each portfolio in the book. Note that the maximum loss is simply one specific example of data that can be extracted from the complete historical simulation data set using IFP. The aggregate function then aggregates holding data and for each holding calculates VAR at the confidence level specified in the inputs. Note that the rounding convention used to select VAR from a PNL distribution in this demo is very simple, rounds to the nearest integer. You can build on this convention with a more sophisticated mechanism. Finally, the holding info function calculates the individual VAR for each holding and displays this information along with holding attributes. Now let's run the app, choosing the book on which we want to run the simulation the date for the simulation run, the default is zero indicating today, the name of the setup file you saved earlier, the holding attribute by which you want to aggregate holdings for the VAR calculation, and the VAR confidence level you are interested in. Note that the size of the book may impact the performance of the app while running the historical simulation. The output of this code displays four tables that demonstrate the total book's profit and loss on each date of the simulation, the maximum loss value for each portfolio in the book, the 95% value at risk for each trader represented in the book, and the 95% bar 
for each holding filtered into the book. You can choose to display aggregate var by any holding attribute, not just trader, such as account or group. Furthermore, there are a number of variations you can implement by simply changing a few items within the app code. You could add the capability to aggregate var by more than one attribute at a time, view P&L distributions by their historical dates at any level of hierarchy, and much more. The last table of var calculated for each holding helps you drill down into the holding level details. Remember that the standard historical simulation output provides drill down data, but holding level details are easier to navigate and use when accessed via an IFP table. Note that you can run this app via the Run App IO service, which can automatically export the output data to Microsoft Excel. This can assist users in locating the largest sources of VAR, aggregate VAR outside of the system, and most importantly, organize the historical simulation output in a user-specific manner. To access the code used in this demo, click here.